David Hill here on the campus of Linfield Christian High School. I'm here with Alex Ruiz, quarterback, senior quarterback, with the Linfield Christian Lions who are on their way, actually tonight, they're not on their way, they're playing tonight against Mary Star of the Sea. Not you guys are here. Nine and one, is, this football team is, it had a great season, and as I talked to some of the players last night, it all, it doesn't matter, nine and one, if you can't get things done tonight, exactly. correct? So it's like a new season, obviously. And so uh, it's exciting to be here. We'll be here tonight for game coverage, but more, more exciting and more importantly, I'll get a chance to talk with Alex here and talk a little bit about his football career here at Linfield Christian, uh, your aspirations for next year and what you're thinking about college-wise. And um, uh, talk to me about your experience and what it's been like to be a part of this Linfield Christian football team. Honestly, this, this school is something I can't describe. It's definitely a different uh, vibe around here. It's definitely a family. This whole football team, we're, we're tightly, we're a tight, we're a tight group. And um, it's definitely something like we've, I've been to different high schools, different schools in general, and it's just, it's something different about this place that just makes you want to stay here and makes you want to be a part of it. That's excellent. And, you know, you have been so kind and um, so generous with your time, and I appreciate you. And, and your story is, is fascinating. Everybody has a story. Mm -hmm. I don't care where they come from or how good they are or what they do. They all have a story. And we talked a little bit about that before we decided to go on air with this. But you were so kind as to repeat that story to me or tell me that story. I'd love mm -hmm. you for our audience to know what you're actually dealing with right now in your young life mm. having and, and walk with me a little bit so i can make sure that that it's seen on camera and if you can't see you can see it now this young man you talk about a courageous young man is here competing despite the fact that he's working with limitations mm. and limitations never stop you from doing anything so talk to our audience alex when did this happen to your particular leg, your right leg, when did it happen? How did it happen? And what was your reaction as you thought about what your future would be like? I'd say more of an obstacle. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's everyone has different obstacles in their life, and this is an obstacle that you have to just work through. Better than a limitation. Yeah, limitation. Yeah, I don't really like that word. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll scratch that word. Yeah. Um, uh, so it was last season. I was my junior year. Um, we were playing against Ontario Christian. It was October 6th, and uh, I decided to keep a read option, and I got caught up, and I hyperextended and dislocated my right knee. Uh, I was transferred to the hospital. They, they realized that my knee was dislocated, so they popped it back into place, and then soon after that, they realized uh, there was no blood flow going to my foot, and there hadn't been for quite some time, and at that point, it was probably about four hours, three hours, something like that. And then uh, they realized I couldn't do surgery there because it wasn't a trauma center. Um, and they transferred me to Loma Linda Hospital where they performed surgery to restore the blood flow. And that surgery took close to 10 hours. Mm. And luckily they were able to save my leg and restore the blood flow and I woke up grateful that I even had my leg and grateful that I was in, uh, in the company of the people that loved me and cared about me most and comforted me in that time. Your, your, your resolve, as I talk to you now, I have no doubt that this is probably the, almost the same demeanor that you took when you found this information out. Mm -hmm. As I talk to you, I, I think about the, the strength that you carry mm -hmm. um, in this, all that it is is an obstacle, mm -hmm. as you carry this with you. And uh, I, I, I think you talked a little bit about the positive reinforcement that you got. Talk about the strength of your friendship and your mm -hmm. bonds there and the bond of this football team. Yeah, no, there was definitely some dark days. Um, I think everyone has dark days. But uh, I just try not to focus on those and just focus if I have a bad day or right, we got tomorrow. There's always going to be, I'm always going to have that shot to, to bounce back and just make the best of the situation. And the school and the student body and my friends definitely made that as smooth as possible. Um, they did everything I asked for and even more. Uh, my friends are down there about twice a week just making sure I'm good and making sure I got things to do and I have sense, a sense of normal uh, routine and just talking to them and having fun and messing around like we're still 16 and 17 year old kids just messing around in a hospital room, messing with my nurses, <laughs> having fun, uh, causing trouble and I'm beyond grateful for that. They definitely made it um, a little less worse. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. doubt. Which which is, is great to hear because we should really be talking about future because yeah. you have a tremendous future. You're looking forward to the future. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what the future looks like for you. You talked about college a little bit. What are your plans? I plan to go to a four-year university and um, I want to study uh, broadcasting. 
Okay. And yeah, I want to study broadcast. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this job. <laughs> I'm, job. I'm coming for your job and communications. Yeah. And then um, if that doesn't work out, I'm probably gonna go into nursing okay. and get into that. I've definitely uh, had a different view yeah. of how nurses uh, work, and yeah. uh, it's definitely a field that I'm interested in. Uh, but yeah, I just look forward to what the future holds and look forward to the people that have, or I'm grateful for the people that have gotten me to the place to where I, I have the opportunity to go to college. Outstanding. And, um, you know, you, you let me in on a little secret. You, see you got a call from uh, somebody that we probably all recognize yeah. to some degree, Drew Brees. Yeah. Called you? No, we or met. Or you actually yeah. met? Yeah, we met a couple times. Talk to me about that. A couple times. Uh, so I work with this foundation, or I guess they, they work with me, helping me. Um, called Challenge Athletes Foundation down in San Diego and they want to present it, they wanted to present me with a leg and they had the opportunity to have Drew Brees do that but they didn't know like that's where that's like that's why I wear number nine and that's it's, that's my guy Great. Um, so they called me down to La Jolla and um, or Del Mar and uh, he came walking out and we got to sit there and talk for a little bit and Great. hang out and then I actually went to their pregame game with uh, the Saints Chargers and hung out at practice oh, and then the next great. day came to the game so we've had we've had a few opportunities to get to know each other. <laughs> that is just outstanding. What a great story and, and, and what a great young man this is for all that he plans to do in the future. That's all that matters and that the future is bright for this young man. And I am serious about it. You carry yourself really well <laughs> and I'm worried about my job, Alex. I'm a little worried to tell you the truth, man. I am uh, excited for you guys in this football team. I'm excited for you and your future. Um, we're excited to be a part of this. HSP and sports will be here to bring you pregame and in game coverage and post game coverage and and hopefully we'll have a lot to cover tonight and i'm sure we will it'll be a fantastic contest alex we want to wish you the best you. as you go forward don't be a stranger Thank okay all right that. appreciate your time Thank okay you. and hang right here for a second as i close this out again uh tonight it's mary star of the sea versus linfield christian it's the beginning of high school playoffs here in southern california uh teams all over all over the southland all over the northern california uh, front are going to be going at it tonight in their second season and linfield is looking to push this thing all the way to possibly a state title i'm exactly. sure that's what they want and with with you behind them there's no doubt about that this is david hill once again on the campus of linfield christian just before the kickoff uh just a few short hours away with mary star of the sea and linfield christian high school